This is Openly Hostile Opinions. With your host, Casey and Jay. What the hell? Why? I can do anything I want to. Anytime I want to. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Openly Hostile Opinions. 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 Hello, everyone. Welcome to Openly Hostile Opinions
the Shrek Talk podcast. Yeah. They gave us a shout out in their latest episode. Awesome. So, I didn't uh, catch it yet. By the way, we do have beanies. Just don't order the green. The green's out of stock. <laughs> yeah. So, Jake, if you're listening, we do have beanies. Just don't order the green ones. Yeah. Get a, get a black one. Everything we have. Like, we offer other colors because some people like them. But come on. All of our shit should be in black. Yeah, I know. It should be. Um, that also reminds me. Uh, Megan sent me this thing. It's a guy dressed up like Bob Ross. Yeah. And it's called Painting Like a Feminist. And it's the funniest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I'll have to check that um, out. Check it out when you can. I'll see if I, after the show, I can post it on Twitter. But it's so funny. It's like he, he tells his producer to put the colors up like Bob Ross does. And one's menstrual red. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> it's so fucking funny. I watched it like three times in a row. If I don't see cadmium yellow, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> just saying. No, there was like Prius green. Prius green. Yeah. <laughs> because we want we want everyone to know that we're better than you. Uh, <laughs> it's just it is so fucking funny, dude. He even calls them out for about the black dress thing, <laughs> the Me Too, and it's just so hilarious. Tig the neighbor joined. Hello, Tig. What's up, Tigger? How you doing, man? So you, you like my new shirt? Like, yeah, where'd you get that? Rocking the Atari <laughs> Target big spender i went to target dude target has some nice shirts man that's where i got my murder brother shirt yeah i know i i saw that one there i was gonna get it i'm like nah they'll they'll accuse us of you know fucking each other after <laughs> yeah, the show probably. they already do accuse us of fucking each other after the show they do those sick fucks <laughs> um yeah anyway uh it, it's it's nice uh, i you know what i love about atari more than anything else in the world what's that the the sounds Atari has the greatest sounds. Yeah. Like when something happens on the screen, it makes that 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 like blow up sound. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, that yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, and that reminds me. Uh, Megan was just going through her basement and she just found an Atari. <gasps> yeah. She there's like fucking twenty games with it too. If it works, <laughs> Megan. <laughs> if it works, can we play it on the show someday? Uh, that's what I was thinking. Like I was, for real. Kept, I want to. Yeah. She kept it at her house because she wants to see if it works. Um, and if it works, I was thinking about bringing it on the show and somehow hooking it up to this. I don't know how. Actually, that also reminds me. We need talking. a ca- we'd either need to put physically be able to watch the screen uh-huh. with a camera, or we'd need a capture card. Yeah, that reminds me. Keep talking. <laughs> okay, right back. I gotta show you something. <laughs> nice. Thank you, Megan. We appreciate it. My wife says, "Casey, please fuck him for me." Thanks, man. Damn, you're harsh. I even give you a shout out for being right about the car. Good Lord. So, yeah, Casey ran the fuck off. Uh, anyway. Dude, that would be so awesome to actually uh, get an Atari to play with, though. I would have so much fun. Like I said, the sounds are the best part. Like, some of the gameplay is pretty primitive and shit. Uh, you know what? Uh, I've played the E.T. game, and that's not even the worst game I think I've ever she played. She has two copies of that. <laughs> really? Yeah. And this is what she also found. And I'm so fucking excited about this because... I didn't think in my life I would ever touch one of these again. A fucking Sega Genesis. <gasps> Here was so ahead of its time. <laughs> oh my, dude, it's a Sega Master System pretty much with a portable yeah, Sega dude. Master System. When I was younger, my brother, my stepbrother had one and they had this uh, Winter Olympics game and it was so much fun. But the thing is, is like, you can. I remember you can either play it like power wise. What the hell, Tigger? <laughs> Tigger says, "Oh my God, you're three weeks too late." I just threw away three Ataris with about forty games. What is wrong with you? How do you have three? Why three? My God, if you find an NES, you're giving it to me. <laughs> I will. I will suck your dick. <laughs> but it's just funny. I forgot. It took so many. It takes six batteries. Oh my God, and they last like so short. Yeah, like fifteen. Like minutes. the Game Boy would last forever on a charge. This thing, like you know. You get like a half an hour of good gameplay. Yeah, and it's just funny because like there's no games with it, but I got to look online and see um, if I could find some games for it. Because like I said, I played this Winter Olympics game when I was younger, and it was so, oops, excuse me, it was so much fucking fun. I used to have the Sonic. Uh, when I was a kid, I had uh, I had the Game Gear. I had a carrying case for it, uh, and I also had like a TV tuner uh-huh. that, that, that could pick up over the air. Uh, antenna signals it was great yeah and uh i i just hope it works because like i said this this thing brings back some memories um i gotta embarrass you a little bit though megan because this was too funny uh when she first gave me to this or gave this to me she was looking at it and uh she was looking here where it says phone she goes you can hook your phone up to this <laughs> i was like it stands for headphones. i'm sorry megan 
I'm sorry, but it was just too funny not to share. <laughs> Never has that sound effect been more appropriate than right now. And she goes, "Think you can hook a phone up to this? I'm like, oh my god. Oh yeah, you're going to find tons of games on eBay. There's going to be no problem with that. See, the problem with... Now, I never got into actually collecting the cartridges and shit. I would love to, but one, they're retardedly expensive. Like, I'm not going to be PC about this. I'm talking like they're, they're licking windows, drooling on themselves expensive. <laughs> like, my favorite game of all time, for example, is, a, is an SNES game called Earthbound. Uh-huh. That yes. game will cost you $150. Holy fuck. I remember you actually talking about that. I, I think we talked about that like 50 episodes That's ago. last time I looked. Let me check again. Let's see here. eBay.com. And the thing is, it's like we remember these things so well because when we were younger, it's not really that crazy to us. But if you think about it, would this come out like fucking 30 years ago? Maybe? Yeah, something like it. <laughs> like close to that. Uh, let's see here if it has a uh, date. I don't think it does. It should have a date on it. I don't know why it doesn't. Made in China. That's a surprise. Uh, yeah, but this probably came out close to 25, 30 years ago. Uh, yeah, here we go. An authentic... Uh, an original cartridge, not a reproduction cart, is one hundred ninety nine ninety nine. Holy fuck! Or man. best offer. Here's one for two hundred and seventy eight ninety nine. This is that Earthbound game. Yeah, it's my favorite game of all time. Here's one for one hundred sixty two ninety nine. Now, there's some on here that are reproduction carts, which are they basically took the guts and, and put they rewrote the guts somehow to to play the rom earthbound but it's not oh it's not jesus christ knock on the table all over the place yeah <laughs> it's not one of the i'm gonna get excited <laughs> no. oh dude if you find the sonic game for that I, i'm so borrowing that I, thing <laughs> i just hope it works but the thing that sucks is is i have to buy a game to see if it works well you know what though uh go down to the pawn shop they might have them but uh, you know what though? Even if certain parts of that have gone bad, there's a really big retro gaming community out there, and there's a lot of uh, people who will um, repair them or tell you how to. Mm. Like, uh, there's, I believe with Game Gears, the LCDs go bad, but there you can replace it. Okay, yeah. I just, I just say, look how big this fucking thing is, dude. <laughs> well, I'm telling you, if any of you guys find a Super Nintendo or an NES out there, uh, get in touch with us. Yes. No no kidding. Um, or an Atari. It would be nice, too. I could probably find it, though. I, w I would like to have the DC um, Volt thing. To you don't have to get the original. You can just get one that has the same, same yeah, specs. Yeah, because I'm going to be going through batteries like a mo fucker. So. Oh, yeah. You know, I remember I used to be tethered to the wall with that thing. And not really portable. Yeah, they're not at all. And it, they, like I said, they take uh, six... Uh, double A batteries. Yeah, so. <laughs> I would love to have one of the old gray brick uh, uh, Game Boys too. Yes, that would, even that if would. it didn't work. And, but and that's the thing. Like uh, this came out about the same time as a Game Boy. Yeah. So you got to remember, like this was way ahead of its time. From the oh Game yeah, Boy. well, see, the Game Boy went for battery life, and the Game Gear went for power. Yes. Exactly. And see, you know what? Here's the deal. I was a total Sega kid. Mm -hmm. Now I look back and, and, and am more nostalgic for Nintendo games, just because I think it's because I didn't own that system. So it was a rare treat for me. Yes. Like I bought regular Nintendo games. I had a Nintendo, then I had a Sega. I never had a Super Nintendo, but I look more fondly back on Super Nintendo games. I think because my friends had those, and, and I'd have didn't. to, I'd have to go over the, to their house. That's to play. so funny because I had a regular Nintendo and a Sega. I never had a Super Nintendo. My brother right. did. My stepbrother did, but he was never around. Right, really and, and you're probably more nostalgic for those SNES games than you are for Sega games. Yes, because I remember when he had Doom, and it was a, it was so such a big deal because the fucking cartridge was red. <laughs> yeah, and you were like, oh my god. <laughs> well, I, I totally bought it. If you remember Sega. Sega's marketing campaign back then was Sega does what Nintendo don't. Yeah. And I, I truly believed uh, that Sega was the, the console for the cool kids. You know what I mean? No. When I was growing up, I believed that Sega was, was – oh, God. Thanks, Mama Bear. Zelda's 32 years old this year. I feel <laughs> old. God, yeah, that is a long time ago. I, I remember uh, I, I got Sega because they had cool games that I thought were really neat, you know, and they had blood. Exactly. That, it, 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 with with, with uh, you had you had to put in a cheat code, but if you did, you could get the blood on on Mortal Kombat. Yeah, and that was exactly. a big fucking deal for the us kids. A B B A C A B B A. I think it was. I still remember something it. like that. <laughs> I forget. But it, but yeah, that's the thing. Because like yeah, Mama Bear's here. Even um. The Sega, like, it had more violent games. It had more adult games. It was black, so it was, like, all oh, mm -hmm. mysterious. They had and... great sports games, too, and I liked sports games. Oh, a lot yeah. of people the, did. The original I Madden, sports games. like, came, were coming out on Sega, the, the first Sega and everything like that. And I remember um, 
uh, playing the original Maddens, and they were just amazing, and they were a lot of fun, and they had that, full the, rosters. The Mutant League. Mutant League football, Mutant League hockey. Oh, I love that shit. It was it was amazing, and it was just fucking awesome. And No uh, Duffy. Duffy doesn't love us anymore. Yeah, what happened to him? I don't know. He, he's, he's been catching us on replays lately, he said. Uh-huh. Uh, uh-huh. He, he must have more important things to do than <laughs> hang out with us. Uh, Megan and Chelsea were watching him the other day, though, and he said that he uh, gave us a shout-out one of his videos. So, yeah. Trevor, if you're listening, thank you. Yeah, Appreciate he did. Um, Love you long time. Oh, there he is. <laughs> hey, there he goes. Uh, Jay's face pubes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. I got off track, though. What the fuck was I going to say? I was going to say something. About I don't know what you're oh, talking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I, and I think that's why like a Nintendo still is having problems with uh, competing with PlayStation and, and Xbox, they just don't have a lot of adult games. And I remember when the GameCube came out, it was just going to be kids' games. But then the, it wasn't working, so they were like, okay. You know what, though? Then they started releasing Resident Evil and all that shit. I, I'm a total – I'm a Nintendo fanboy. I would – right now, if I could buy a Nintendo, I would. Um, I love those games. I, I, I Like I said, I have to play them on emulators because I just cannot – justify as a you know as a husband and father and somebody who has responsibilities and bills to pay <laughs> i cannot justify being able to to just set up a game room like man. i'd love to oh man like, i would love to too man if i could if i had the money to to do the collecting and if if i had started this a long time ago when i first really got into retro gaming and emulation and shit mm-hmm. if i had started it back then when everything was cheap and nobody cared about nintendo games i'd, I'd be stacked right uh-huh. now but now it's become a huge big thing uh, it has and uh i still do want to start doing some like retro game streaming unfortunately i'm probably gonna have to use emulators because i i do not have the kind of like money to go out and buy the cards oh yeah i would love to it's fine it's it's the you know, just the idea of doing it and everything that counts, that's, that's pretty much but it. But the problem is, you know, like, one thing that really disappointed me uh, when I first started getting into emulation, I thought it was cool. Like, oh, well, I don't have to go buy all these games I used to have. I can just play them. Mm-hmm. I can download and play them. What, I might know where there's an old Nintendo. I want it. <laughs> <laughs> Make it so. I know, and that's the thing. Like, people just used to throw this shit out, and it's just like, no, oh, don't. Don't do that. Even <laughs> if it's broken, a lot of things can be repaired. But, uh... Yeah, when I first started doing it, I, I downloaded uh, some some Sega game. I I think it was Streets of Rage, right? Oh, love that love game. that game. Ugh, One of the main Gold reasons. Nags. Is, oh, Golden Axe was great, but Streets of Rage was where fucking it was goblins. <laughs> Streets of Rage was awesome. Yeah, but anyway, I was playing Streets of Rage, and um, one of the sounds was 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 off. And uh, that bothered me because you know, I knew <laughs> what it was supposed to sound like. Uh-huh. And it's just like, okay, well, if that sounds off, how many of these games am I not experiencing the way they should be? Uh-huh. Yeah. So that's that's one thing that sucks with the emulation. It's nice to play it on the real system. And, like, controller lag yeah. is sometimes a thing when mm-hmm. it comes to... Uh, and that's the thing. Like, th- the games were so simple. Like, what, what the regular Nintendo was 16-bit, I think. There's Eight. not a lot... Yeah, there's not a lot to bits. Didn't mean shit. Yeah, bits were a marketing term. I know, but but the thing is, is like it was um, the example or not example, but the the thing I'm trying to show here is that things were just so simple. Things but the didn't... gameplay. Yeah, and like it gave less chances of things messing <coughs> up or things like there was no lag. Now like everything is online, so there's lag. And well, like... yeah, it's like you know the gameplay though was so much more fun to me than than some of the things that we have nowadays. Like, my kids got a PS4 for Christmas, which is all fine and good. But, like, the first thing that we had to do is the system had to update itself. Do you guys not do the beer of the week anymore? Um, since Greg is kind of a regular host with us, we don't generally decide to do that anymore. Yeah. Just because, you know, it's the recovering addict. It's not really a good... Not and very it was nice. just annoying getting beer all the time. We kept forgetting whose turn it was. And <laughs> and, and uh, we pretty much bought everything interesting out of the store we went yeah, to. Yeah, I know, because there's only, like, one store around here that sells good stuff. And it's just, like, we've tried everything, basically. <laughs> yeah, if we, if we find something real fancy or exciting, we might grab it and do a yeah, one-off here and there. It, but It got to the point where there's only, like, Michelob and Budweiser left. <laughs> and yeah, it's it's, like... I was actually considering buying like <laughs> malt beverages and shit, just, malt beverage. like, like nice. fucking Boone's Farm and shit. Just to, <laughs> like I was running out of stuff to do. Oh, but Boone's um, Farm, oh, I used to drink cases of that when I was younger. <laughs> I drank Mad Dog. Ugh, fucking fucking MD forty forty. Ugh. Ugh, man, fuck that. My my husband won't let me have a PlayStation. He put his foot down. I'll tell your husband, then uh, he doesn't get to have. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't Sex get time. he doesn't get to get down if he if he puts his foot down. But no, I would love to have you know, like you were saying, your niece's boyfriend. I think you said 
I uh, had a game room set up with every kind of uh yeah, mad dog. Yep, every kind of system. I would love to do that, but I just like I could not justify that. My kids would love it too. Oh yeah, because they like playing those older games with me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, uh, older games. There's just something about them. Like fucking, I still like Jason next door. He bought the. It look. It sort of looks like this, but it's a lot smaller, and it's an Atari game, and it comes with like. 50 preloaded games and river raids on there and it's oh oh yeah oh i'm gonna come in my pants oh <laughs> i was playing uh not too long ago what was it um uh oh my god help me out here kid icarus <laughs> i was playing kid icarus the other day which is a game i absolutely loved mm-hmm. uh when i was a kid boy that game's fucking hard oh, that was when you like grew wings and shit didn't you or well no you you played an angel named pit yeah Okay. And, I, mean, uh, I knew there was wings involved. <laughs> yeah, it was Angel Land. You shot a little bow and arrow yeah, and, and shit. Not like wings on and like these a pad. Goddamn fucking wizards would turn you into a goddamn eggplant. <laughs> <laughs> An eggplant. Ugh, oh, man. they're fucking annoying. I hate eggplants so much. Ugh. Uh, anyway, you know, I love eggplant, but that's uh, not what I'm trying to like. <laughs> I know, fucking save I just, Angel Land from the scourge. <laughs> I just hate eggplants so much. It just reminded me how much I hate it. Uh, well, well, I'm trying to save Angel Land from the evil scourge. Then you know, <laughs> but anyway, I'm playing this, and my kids are enthralled with it. They're like, can we play? Can we play? I'm like, well, it's not a two-player game, but we can take turns. You know, when one of us die, uh-huh. uh, that was uh, that was a bad mistake because they both played for like two seconds each and had to keep switching <laughs> off controllers. Yeah. Like God, Nintendo games were hard. Oh yeah, definitely. Like we were talking, we talk about that shit all the time. Like, like I got a Mario Brothers for the Wii. And it just, if you don't, if you're having trouble on a fucking level, it just finishes the level for you. It shows you how to beat it. And then you go to the next level. I'm like, what kind of bullshit is that? Where's the rage in that? And it's doing the same thing for my Nintendo DS. Like, there's a Mario game on there. And if you keep dying, it gives you a super powerful uh, raccoon tail. And you just, you're like invincible. I yeah, that's I, stupid. Yeah, I think you can only die to falling in a pit. And it's just like. Pfft. And every goddamn game has like a 20 a minute unskippable tutorial now. I, I, I got, know, I hate that shit. Oh, yeah. Like, the, just let me play. I know. Like, I'm so pissed about that. I, I even was pissed about when I first got my DS. Yeah, it made me set up all this fucking oh, bullshit. Oh, yeah. Like, what day is it? Well, what's your name? Do you want to set up the internet now? Do you, you know, I want your blood. Can I yeah. have blood? Oh, oh, yeah, my kids bought a game that can't even fucking play because I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's just fucking retarded. Uh, yeah, it yeah it, it's ridiculous. And, um... What pisses me off, you know, it's like I, I downloaded this uh, kart racing game because I love Mario Kart, so I downloaded this game for like $2. I think it was. It was called like uh, Beach Buggy Racing Beach or some buggy. shit like that. <laughs> I don't need a tutorial for how to play a kart game. Yeah, I know. Everybody knows how to play a kart <laughs> racing game. Sophia loved it. Hey, sup, fellas? How are you, Sophia? Thanks for joining us. Uh, Sophia, is that Tuffy's girl? What? No, no. Oh, she's like... Latina Angel or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> Latina Angel. What what game? It was uh yeah, it was the beach buggy racing, Amanda. The the, the two uh it was like two dollars I bought it for a while ago for the kids so we could play a racing game and uh it, it's fun and all, but it's like you had to go through this stupid ass tutorial. It's like we get it. You race, you get power ups, and you throw shit at at whoever's in front. <laughs> It's yeah. it's the same as it's been since the SNES. Well, that's the thing. People are so fucking stupid these days, and they wonder why. It's like everything has to be told what to. There's there's directions on everything. There's directions on condoms. <laughs> like who doesn't know how to put a condom on? Uh, apparently, not enough people know how to put a condom on. I've seen some uh, pretty god awful parents out there over the years. Yeah. Well, parents shouldn't be putting condoms on kids, anyways. But <laughs> oh my god. So speaking of our '90s nostalgia, this actually brings me into uh, into a story. Remember how a while back ago we were talking about all the shit we remember from the '90s and early 2000s, like uh, Fred Durst and yeah. Jinko Jeans. I remember that thumbnail you made when we talked. Yeah, about yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Yeah, those were fun to make, but man, like it, it was a lot of work for something nobody cared about. Yeah, yeah Mama Bear uh, saying kids are eating Tide Pods. We that need uh, directions. Yeah, we need directions. Yeah, no. Yeah. The, it's a meme gone wrong, is what that is. But uh, a- anyway, well, thank thank you, Sophia. We appreciate that. She said it's a good show. Come on, we need more than eight watchers. I don't know. We get more people after the fact usually. But anyway, so Jinko Jeans is going out of business. Oh, uh, right. I didn't even know they were still a thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that's the thing. Like, if they made it this long, it ain't that bad of a run, dude. No, no, <laughs> no. That's uh, pretty good. I mean, when you. 
I remember it was a it was a thing to to have those jeans the widest they could possibly be. Like oh yeah, the the legs were wider than the waistband. Yeah, pants. and it's actually good that Janko is going out of business because as wide as the pant legs are, and um, the increase in common uh, school shootings these days, <laughs> it's probably good they don't have uh, big pant Janko jeans because they could probably hide guns in them. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, you know, when you started walking in those things with those long ass pant legs, it looked like you were just hovering. <laughs> yeah, I know, they <laughs> you did. Looked, your they knees did. didn't even touch. They looked like you were an alien from space and you just had these huge Janko. And then, then they had those huge fucking patches on them and shit like oh, that. Yeah. It was so fucking The weird. stitching. Uh, if you guys show your nipples, there'll be more people. Okay. Uh, Jay Enjoy. does, Jay does that all the time. <laughs> like, Enjoy. He's always showed his nipples and we still, it doesn't work. <laughs> I think it's because he has a beard, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I've seen some women with beards, so you know. Yeah, me too. Especially those freak shows. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks, though, man. Janko Jeans, you had a good run, man. I'd say from the early 90s on, you know, it ain't bad. It ain't bad at all. Probably like 30 years, whatever. Thanks to the delay, I just saw my nips in the uh, in the camera there. God, <laughs> I'm so fucking white. Like my, I never take my shirt off for obvious reasons. Like even when I go swimming and shit, I wear a shirt, mm -hmm. not for my own sake, because I have like I I have no self conscious issues. Uh, I just don't take a shirt off for everybody else's sake. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like I, I'm a firm believer, certain things should not come in certain sizes. <laughs> Spandex is not an option for some uh, folks. Uh, that reminds me. I just got on some new meds today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Goody. Goody, goody gumdrops. Uh, and they're like, there's not really any side effects with these meds. Uh, it's just powerful stuff. You know, you might wake up groggy or something. She's like, but there's one main thing. She's like, it, it causes a lot of people to overeat. And I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, you'll just eat all day. And I'm like, why are we giving this to people? <laughs> like, yeah, I just like straight out said, well, why are you giving this to people? Like, uh, do you want, you know, this medicine to help you or do you want diabetes? <laughs> like, so I'm like a little interested. I'm going to start taking it tonight. It's like a bedtime med. So uh, if you see me next week and I look like the blueberry. From if you Blue look Walker, like me, <laughs> yeah, just, <laughs> we'll just, just be, we'll change our name to uh, two fat guys opinions. <laughs> So just, uh, yeah, you know it's because of my meds. <laughs> my wife says my profile photo will be my boobs. I'm pretty sure Periscope will ban you for that shit. Will it? Yeah, nudity is not allowed. Huh. Although, I'm since I have a beard, I'm pretty sure that I just offended the hell out of somebody, but I don't think... Uh, I don't think that I qualify as nudity. <laughs> uh, it's actually pretty funny. Like, I remember when I first got Periscope and I was just, like, scrolling through shit and stuff like that. Strippers get on there and strip and shit like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can't get away with that shit. Um, you can because one was talking about it. But the only thing is, is if a lot of people start going to your channel, then they'll monitor and then they'll shut you down. But if there's, like, five or six people in there, they don't really care. But once people start sharing it and shit and then Periscope's, like, you know, it comes to their attention. They're like, okay, we better shut this fucking thing down. <laughs> All right, then. Yes, poor Casey. I, I might become fat, so everyone keep an eye on me. <laughs> Check it away. Get your Man boobs. <laughs> Don't touch me. <laughs> you hate to be touched. I, love I know. I hate being touched. If you ever want to <laughs> if you ever want to fuck with Casey, it's really fun. Have you ever seen him in real life? Poke him in the side. I hate fart. it. I'll fart on you. <laughs> like, I will. Um, I'll just fart all over you, and I might even diarrhea all over your leg or something like that. We look so gay on camera. <laughs> <laughs> my, my my man boobs jiggling under my Atari shirt. Uh, I should have actually uh, got a scale and weighed myself uh, today, and then next Tuesday weighed myself again and see yeah, if that I would be a good weight show. For my medicine. <laughs> <laughs> I you know I'm so like the, the, the like the comic book guy. Worst episode ever. <laughs> my Atari shirt. Uh, I'll make it as art. I'll pour. I'll pour paint on them. <laughs> he loves being touched. Don't let him lie. I really don't, man. You know, there's actually a woman who who paints like that, Amanda. Uh, she like that was a big thing there. She's like some feminist artist or some shit. Of course, she she, she dips her titties in, in paint cans and rolls around on a canvas. Did, did we cover that some girl uh, paints with period blood? I think we did on one show. Uh, yeah, I think we did. Yeah, she paints. Uh, her paintings with menstrual fucking uterus wall. <laughs> either, either we did or we decided that that was too gross for our audience, but that was like, you know, a year ago when we cared. <laughs> Nowadays. Did we ever care, though? I, I don't We I did don't... somewhat. We used to censor ourselves somewhat. <laughs> we did? <laughs> I mean, we still do to some extent. It's just shit that'll get us banned from iTunes. That's yeah. about it. Yeah, probably. I'm surprised we haven't banned yet. You know, Jay made a fucking school shooting comment last week. Actually, I made another one this week, so. Uh, I don't. 
I didn't know how to say fart, so it was two gays that was live in New York, so they teach me this word. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, English is not her first language. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, Sophia. Uh, yeah. Uh, Sophia, what is that? Italian? <laughs> so, Sophia. It's. Uh, it sounds Italian for some reason. So Sophia, what what nationality are you? <laughs> you um, know. Sophia, I believe so it could be some some Hispanic. I don't. I don't. I, who cares? Is it? Is it? It's just interesting. Oh, I'm from Russia. Okay, she's Russian. I was gonna say that because for some reason, Sophia, re, Sophie, Sophia reminds me of um, what's that bitch's name that does Meg's voice? Mila Kunis. Yeah, Mila Kunis. For some reason, Sophia and Mia like sort of like go together. Is she Russian? Reason. Oh yeah. Oh, she's I didn't. always in a hurry. <laughs> oh my god. It's yeah. international name. Yeah, I was gonna. I was gonna say that. No, it just. I thought you were Russian for some reason. I just had this fucking. I don't know. I just. Maybe I'm psychic. <laughs> well, that's, that's fine. We like uh, people of all nationalities. Yeah, right yeah. Here. Mia, Mia Kunz is very Except Russian. for those dirty fucking mole people. <laughs> those little bastards come crawling up out of the fucking ground and shit trying to take my vegetables. Fuck them. Yeah. Like those, uh, I'm racist uh, against mole people. <laughs> like those underground people in uh, Demolition Man <laughs> that are led by, what's his name, that actor? Dennis Leary. Is that his name? In Demolition Man? Oh, yeah, yeah. Where he, he goes on a rant about like how... He wants to be free, and if he wants to go swimming naked in green jello, <laughs> I love that rant. It's a really good land- rant. If you've never seen the movie Demolition Man, watch it. It's a beautiful. Do you smell something burning? Uh, I was actually thinking that. I think before the show, when I was out smoking, I think uh, my butt can's on fire. <laughs> I was actually about to make a comment about that. I was going to say, Casey, is your house burning down while I'm in it? Or your new car's on fire because your luck is worse than mine. <laughs> no, no, dude. Seriously. Like I have, I I have uh, horrible luck. It's it runs in my family. I don't know why. Everything that can go wrong does. Casey blows me away. <laughs> so I lost that guy's from New York. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I do. I have the worst fucking luck in the world, dude. It's just so fucking god awful. I just, I don't know. I'm surprised I don't have kids yet. That's the next thing. It's going to fuck me over. I know. It. I'm going to have a fucking kid. I'm going to have some girl knock on my goddamn door. And she's gonna be like, hey, this is your kid. I didn't want to tell you 18 years ago. I just, I just know that's fucking. Yeah, my bad. wife gets dark when she drinks. Hey, it's okay, guys. Burn. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I'm pretty sure that's what it is because I can smell it. <laughs> we get, yeah, you know what I smell? I smell an Eagles fan who just came in. And I, don't, <laughs> oh, <Jesus. laughs> I don't care. Yeah, they're all coming out of the woodwork. Don't give now. a fuck. <laughs> After they're done eating shit in parades. <laughs> I still can't believe it. Oh, that, that was ridiculous. Like, I've been I'm excited. I'm glad they finally got a W, though. Oh, yeah. I, I've been excited and stuff, but not excited where I've been eating horse shit. <laughs> oh, like, that's just fucking crazy. I don't know what was going through that. Maybe fame. I don't know. With the internet these days, you can get fame from anything. So, uh, oh, yeah, that reminds me. Um, Weeks ago, we were talking about that Logan Paul guy or whatever like that. Yeah, that jackass. Uh, that fucking filmed the guy hanging himself in the Japanese fucking suicide forest or whatever. Well, he didn't film that event, I don't believe. I'm pretty sure the guy was already there. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean, though. Uh, whatever. So, so, like, he was, you know, oh, I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. So then, like, I guess a week later or two weeks later, he released a video where he was electrocuting animals and shit. Yeah, electrocuting frogs or something. <laughs> like, what, dude? Like, you just you just got done clearing your name, sort of, and then you do that? What the fuck are you doing, dude? I don't know. <laughs> like, what do you think he was, like, role-playing the part of Rambo where they have him tied to the fucking... Uh, mattress rings. <laughs> They're like frying them and shit. Fucking like love that. that movie. Yeah, I um, I'm sorry to leave you again, but I think I really have to put that out. <laughs> yeah, I think I think it's you really, really should. starting to stink. I'll be right back. Talk to Jay about stuff. Uh, I'm gonna go <laughs> put the fire out. Uh, that's behind my house because it's really starting to stink. Yeah, <laughs> you should really go check on that in case we're burning down. I'd kind of like to know. We are so professional. This show is such a professional production. You guys should uh, should marvel at the amount of uh, effort and shit that we put into that. Okay, yeah, he he Casey has updated us. It is smoking out there. <laughs> oh man, the whole fucking neighborhood is gonna show up. All the firemen are gonna show up here pretty soon. Well, Tigger can call him off. He's Tig the neighbor's a fireman. He can. I talked to him about, huh? I talked to him about enough. How many shots have you had? You can't even type anymore. <laughs> it's out. Man. 
Man, Megan says, let this house burn. Amanda says, die, dude. I told you. People Jesus, don't like people me. People are horrible. They, they act like they like me, but they really don't. I'm, I'm pretty the, sure my wife doesn't like me, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm not the only one that wants myself dead. <laughs> <laughs> Tigger says that'd be funny. I was saying that uh, the firemen are going to show up here pretty soon. Like Tig can call them off. Yeah, I, I think Tig knows the number to 911, don't you, buddy? <laughs> I've always wanted to do that. I've always wanted to like hit on a nurse or like an EMT and be like, I know your number, 911. <laughs> I've known a lot of nurses from working in a hospital. That's going to get you slapped. <laughs> oh, I'm bad. Nurses are feisty, man. They are feisty. The, you know what? The amount of bullshit that they have to put up oh, with, yeah. I'd be feisty, too. Oh, yeah. I guarantee it, man. Like, uh, what was that one thing that happened last year or whatever like that? The girl, the nurse from Colorado was just doing her job and a cop arrested her. Do you remember mm -hmm. that? She's like, I'm not allowed to do that. And he's like, you're under arrest. And I was like, okay. That's she won it. the case, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course. I believe did. the cop got suspended. Of course, it was suspended with pay. Oh Jesus! Yeah, What's so in other words, you get suspended then, like seriously, just to make it look like you've done something. Uh, yeah, that's like, hey, here's a cookie, but you can't eat it in front of me. You got to go outside and eat it. Like what? <laughs> like, it makes no fucking. It's just, sense. it's just so people get off their back. Oh look, we suspended this officer. Yes, with pay. With pay. Oh Jesus! Right, Making duct tape people's fun time. Yes, she does like duct tape. She just likes attention. To tell you the truth, I, I feel like if an animal raped Megan, she would like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay then um so anyway uh i gotta get into something here uh so at&t didn't waste any time uh fucking dropping net neutrality i mean the fucking body's not even cold yet <laughs> i mean it, like i think it was just thursday that they published in the register the repeal uh, -huh. uh the federal register the fcc uh published their repeal of uh net neutrality mm -hmm. so it doesn't take effect for 60 legislative days which actually takes a couple months because you know all the days they take off because oh, you know yeah. fuck working right <laughs> but anyway so uh here's what at and is doing uh so they're rolling out new features that just kind of like fly in the face of net neutrality uh they have what's called a sponsored data program and they've extended it to their uh prepaid wireless customers now which enables them to offer content companies Oh, excuse me. The option to sponsor their data so that it doesn't count against users' caps. Now, on as a consumer, you might be thinking, oh, that's great. It won't count against my cap, my data cap. But guess who owns most of those companies? AT&T. What do you mean sponsor? What the, the uh, fuck does that mean? Okay, so what you is know this, what? the Hunger Games? Well, <laughs> you know how you have a data cap yeah, yeah, yeah. on your phone. You yeah. can only, I mean, I have unlimited, but you have a data cap. Yeah, right? yeah. Well, if you use these services, it wouldn't count against it if you were on AT and T. For example, uh, Directv, uh -huh. or you, you know, their their UVerse thing, uh -huh. which is owned by AT and T. <laughs> um, you can watch all you want, uh -huh. and it'll never count against your data cap. Now, as a consumer, that might sound great to you, but it's bad because it forces. For the better experience, it, it steers the competition into a certain direction. Mm -hmm. For example, if... Oh, my God. I can't stop burping and fucking yawning and shit. What the <laughs> hell? I'm you today. So, for example, if you have DirecTV, uh, you, you can stream that all you want for free. Mm -hmm. But if you have Dish Network, for example, and their online offering, well, I guess you can't stream that for free. So, it'll make you, as an AT&T customer, think, oh, well, I should use Go to DirecTV. DirecTV. See, that's where all this anti-competitive bullshit is. And little guys down the road, like when the next YouTube comes out, uh, the next person who comes out and tries to compete with something like that, are you going to go to, say, somebody who could a big company that could afford to pay the sponsorship fee mm -hmm. so that the data doesn't count? Or are you going to go to the competitor who's just starting out, you know, trying to create a create an online revolution a video revolution like youtube did however many years ago oh yeah and i i think that's why like this a lot of companies wanted net neutrality to you know of course get, they get rid of because youtube has been taking over so many things a lot of people have become famous on there and a lot of kids these days don't watch tv they watch well, youtube they not even that but it's like so okay so say google pays at&t their blood money mm -hmm. for for well, youtube yeah and that's the thing. Like, this this forces, like, say I sign up for Comcast. You know what Comcast can do? Because of net neutrality is no longer a thing. They could be like, do you watch YouTube? And I could be like, yeah. And they're like, well, we're going to charge you extra. Yeah, and that's, that's down the road down the com coming for that, too. So, um, and also, this is, this is kind of funny, too. 
Uh, the NRA, uh, you know, I'm sure you guys know all the stories. I'm not trying to politicize things too much, but I just thought this was too funny not to talk about. <laughs> uh, the NRA decided to give Ajit Pai, which we all know is the is the the fucking shitty ass piece of shit SEC guy who did this whole thing, gives him the Courage Award and a gun for saving the internet. How do he save the internet? <laughs> By fucking ruining it. <laughs> like, Jesus. Like, I don't have a lot of problems with the NRA, but that's the dumbest shit I've ever fucking heard in my life. <laughs> like, what? Like, NRA, I, I never really didn't like you or anything like that. I was just like, oh, it's the NRA, whatever, but that's the dumbest shit I've ever fucking heard in my life. I don't know what you're smoking over there or if you're breaking up the bullets and snorting the gunpowder, but just stop. <laughs> yeah, Fire, Fire Stick took off YouTube a couple months ago. Yes, they did, but... You can still access YouTube through a web browser, so it's not it's not allowing an app on their ecosystem, but it's not quite like a net neutrality violation. It's still a pretty shitty thing to do. And, and that's but, the thing. This yeah. is this is all I see. Like this is not what America's about. This is just like destroying like free market on the internet. Basically, is what it's basically doing. It's giving all the major corporations, you know, everything that they can do to you know make money for them and then people just start out like you said me and you nothing it just right. it, it makes this so one-sided and that's not what america's supposed to be like it's supposed to you know the the land of opportunity and you're supposed to have an equal chance of doing stuff and this does none of that and it's just so ridiculous that like we were talking about this last week that you know it used to be like if the government was spying on you you're like oh that's serious now we're just like oh well you better download a vpn like the fucking Get it so you know. Well, you know, have the FBI watching you every day. Like, I don't. Well, know in any event, uh, one of the best ways that you can <laughs> fight fight back against this um, is Casey eats his own cum. No, that is not going to fix the problem. <laughs> uh, one of the best ways you can fight against this is uh, you know contact your Congress people. They did bring a bill into Congress to try and undo this through the legislative review process. They're uh, one vote shy in the Senate, and it's going to be kind of a more difficult, uh, a more difficult thing to deal with in the House. And then even after that, it's probably uh, it, it, it's got to get past uh, Donald Trump's veto pen, which is probably not going to happen. But in any event, <laughs> um, has to get past his wig then too. <laughs> <laughs> it's paving the way for a legal monopoly. Yeah, exactly. That's what it reminds me of. It's it's basically legalizing monopoly, and it's like that is such a yeah. Huge it's thing uh, just the whole thing. The whole thing's going to be fucking awful. But and one way, the other way that you can fight back to avoid this paid prioritization bullshit is everybody should be using a VPN uh, whenever you possibly can. You know what? Don't let the fuckers filter the traffic they don't know what the hell is what so uh you know what uh, we we have a vpn as a sponsorship it's um it's uh private internet access that's who we use that's who i personally use i subscribe to them i use them every month um if you want to get in on that it's oho vp or oho uh, oho net dot pw slash oho vpn uh I'm actually going to type that here in a moment when I can figure out how the hell to get the chat back up again. Hey, at least your screen's not falling off. <laughs> yeah, no, I fixed it. I fixed it. Uh, uh, Tuffy says machine guns are awesome. Yes, unless they're in schools. Um, <laughs> God, the, the school shooting jokes, Jay. You got me started last week. <laughs> All right. Oho net dot. Oh, my God. I typed that wrong. Oho net. <laughs> P-O-W. Dot Prisoner of P-W War. P-W <laughs> slash Oho VPN. <laughs> Oho net dot pw slash oho vpn if you sign up to that they actually kick us back a couple bucks but i uh full disclosure i've used the service for years long before then and i like them they don't keep any logs of uh your traffic if uh you are browsing there's no way for your your isp to know what you're looking at what what traffic it is they can't filter shit there can't be any internet fast lanes or slow lanes it's all all the traffic's going to the vpn that's it and uh, that's all Comcast or AT and T or whoever you subscribe with is. It's not your day, Jay. No, it's it's never my day. He's been working third shift, and it, I think it's getting to him. <laughs> uh, you know what? I like it. Really? I actually do. I like. Uh, nobody likes being awake all night long working, yeah. but I love like being able to spend a lot of time with my family. That uh, I never you got and Greg get in trouble yet? <laughs> you guys have grown up a little bit since. Uh... The well, old restaurant with, <laughs> with that and um he's a we don't do the same thing uh -huh. and he is very busy 
Oh, really? Like, he, he's a mechanic, basically. So, oh, okay. he's, like, always constantly, like, climbing in machines and shit. <laughs> fixing them. Um, oh, man. I'm an operator. I'm, I'm just... You know, I'm working on a, an injection molding press, and uh -huh. I'm just, like, getting the parts out and cleaning them up and doing whatever. Um, the whole time you've worked here, have you heard any stories about someone putting their dick in a vacuum cleaner? I mean, I've heard those stories before, <laughs> but not not involving their... Like, if you don't know, Jay works at Shop Vac. Uh, I... Dude. What? <laughs> you've already said it! I've <laughs> said Vac, a vacuum. I never said the name you of the place. You and Greg say it all the time. No, we don't. <laughs> yeah, you have. We have purposely <laughs> never said the name. Okay, the name. so Jay works at a vacuum cleaner factory. <laughs> Oh, well, what? What's that going to do? It's not going to do anything. <laughs> he works well, yeah. at a vacuum cleaner. I, what, I want people showing the fuck up. <laughs> oh, no. well, if that happens, that would be amazing. But uh, Jay works at a vacuum cleaner factory, and uh, I just want to know if anyone's ever put their dick in a vacuum cleaner. I'm sure they have. <laughs> I know, because I'm just like, I can just picture this one guy. He's having a rough day. He just wants to beat off, get some you know, stress, drain the balls, and he just can't make it home in time. So he just goes, steals a shop vac or vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> just, uh, doesn't matter now. <laughs> I know it doesn't matter now. Um, I, just, I try to keep things somewhat vague. I, yeah, I, I, yeah. Tuffy will show up and bring his goddamn ghost friends with him and like kind of possess my ass. I thought he closed ass. the portal. <laughs> Tuffy, did you close the portal? That was. I'm uh, pretty sure his uh, ass is the portal. <laughs> That's probably right. Yeah, I know I have ass demons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've I've been in the bathroom after you before. Oh, I, yeah. I know you do. Oh man, I had Pizza Hut today. But anyway, uh, so it might, oh, that poor <laughs> toilet. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I did hear a story about a vacuum cleaner once. What's that? It was actually on a thousand ways to die. You remember that show? Yes. Yes. yes, yes. So some jackass thought it would be a good idea to give himself a, a do it yourself liposuction job. Is that a thing? How's that a thing? <laughs> it's not. <laughs> I just don't get it. <laughs> so they used a box cutter. Um, what are they hijacking a plane? <laughs> Yeah, Absolutely. well, they use a box cutter <laughs> on this guy's stomach, right? And they take, a, like, a hollow rod mm -hmm. and duct tape it to the end of a shop vac. And, and like, try to, like, uh, suck the fat out of this guy's thing. <laughs> but, see, here's the thing. The, uh, like, a, a, your average everyday, you know, like, industrial vacuum cleaner like mm -hmm. that, even your household vacuum cleaner that you do your floors with yeah. is, like, hundreds of times more powerful than the vacuum that they use to suck the fat out of you. That's so ridiculous. And you don't know how to do it right. <laughs> so what they ended up doing is they punctured this guy's fucking intestines and shit and he of bled course out. They did. Like what the fuck is wrong with people, dude? I just I don't I remember on that show though there was one thing where this guy had throat cancer and uh he was drinking wine through his butthole and uh I remember when that came out everyone saw it and started doing it and a lot of people actually died after that because all these alcoholics you know weren't drinking because they had throat surgeries from their esophagus exploding from drinking so much alcohol mm -hmm. and then this one guy in a thousand ways to die uh drank it through his butthole and then everyone started doing it and it'll work but it'll kill you oh yeah it'll fucking ruin i mean it. it gets into your system so fast oh yeah and that's like i say like kids today what they do is they soak tampons and vodka and put them in their buttholes <laughs> like, well yeah i mean it, it works through like um the osmosis into your bloodstream straight through uh -huh. the blood vessels and there's a lot of them in your uh in your colon and that's oh, what ends up happening that's so ridiculous i just i don't i don't you know all this tide pot eating and fucking that shit like what just happened was sitting around with some friends drinking a six-pack <laughs> i just i don't know i guess kids are bored <laughs> i don't know uh <laughs> you know i know you used to play edward Fody hands oh yeah um actually that was on a thousand ways to die one time a group of uh kids were were playing edward Fody hands and it's not forty, damn it! It's forty. Yeah, it's forty. You gotta get forty hands. Get the accent, the forty. <laughs> uh, he's playing Edward Forty hands, and they uh, like knocked over an ashtray or something. And the house caught on fire, and none of them could get out because they couldn't fucking turn the door. Oh, down. okay. I thought you were gonna say from holding their pee because um, when the the Nintendo Wii first came out, they uh, this radio station had a um, contest, and what they did is is uh, you had people call in. What the hell was that? My phone uh, that I thought muted, but apparently no. not. Um, it's alive. Uh, well, you know, if you called in, you, you and you won, you got chosen to participate in this thing where they locked you in a room, and since it was a Nintendo Wii, you had to hold, you know, your Wii. You couldn't pee, and whoever was the last one, 
you know, there or whatever like that won the Wii. Well, one girl held her pee and it ended up killing her. <laughs> and that, that was like years. That's when the Wii first came out. I remember that was a huge deal because radio station got in a lot of trouble for that. <laughs> that's, a, that's a big no, no. <laughs> Mama Bear brings up a pretty good uh, comment. Can you imagine trying to get it on? What's that? Sorry, I forgot to take the tampon out of my ass. <laughs> well, um... I would imagine it would numb it. I mean, anal would probably be pretty easy at that point. That's like one of my dreams is to go to a strip club and see a stripper that forgot to take her tampon out. That would be so hilarious. <laughs> if, if you pull on the string, will glitter shoot out? I know. I just, I think it'd be, it'd be so funny. I would just, I would fucking die if that happened. I would, I'd be, I'd be laughing so hard. I'd probably pull it out and start spinning it around like one of those New Year's Eve crankers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking red shit out of them. Looks like fucking a bear ate a rabbit in there. <laughs> you know, I know too many guys that uh, and women that are uncomfortable with having sex on, on on their on a woman's period i don't i don't get that i don't i don't what's mind. wrong with a little ketchup on your hot dog i know but i don't mind it but the thing is is i hate how messy it is then that's the only thing yeah, I really but don't you care know about. a towel in a shower you're all good i know but it's just too much man like i just like i like the extra lubrication yeah i just like blowing my load on the girl and having her clean it up and then because it's sort of like a dominance thing for me <laughs> you are a fucked up individual <laughs> oh no, i know you don't you're have dexter you just haven't killed yet that we know but of period blood like i remember one time this girl didn't tell me and the lights were off and uh, after we were done, I looked. It was all over my chest. Like there was like some of my nipple. How did it get on your oh, dude, chest? It was so bad. And that's why, like, I'm did just... she splash? <laughs> I know. Dude. I was like, I was like, were my balls like like hit my balls like so hard? And then they just looked like we were squirting up. They were like, it was all, it was like pretty much like up to here. They were all down my legs. There were some on my knees for some reason. It was just god awful. <laughs> it, it, I don't know. It was. Just I bad. just realized you're wearing a Golden Girls T-shirt. Oh yeah, isn't that's it? That's awesome. awesome. Squad, is. squad deep. <laughs> I, I, to... I love this show. When I went to the doctor today, she was like, "I love your shirt," and I'm like, "You know what? I always watched the show when I was younger, but now that I'm older, I love the show. It is so. Oh hilarious. my god, it's so funny. It is so fucking funny now that I uh, can get. Oh, everything. you know what? Our friend Sue uh, blew my fucking mind. Why? Uh, she told me that. Uh, uh, what what the hell is it? Um, Estelle Getty, who who played uh, B. Mom. Arthur's mom, yeah. is younger than B. Arthur. Yeah, I think. Was. Don't quote me on this, but I think actually she's younger than all of them. I don't know if she's younger. No, I think the one who played Blanche is the youngest. Oh, okay. I and that's what I'm saying. Don't quote me on that, but I heard that that she was actually the youngest, but she played the oldest in the thing. And but I, yeah, it was all makeup and and shit. Yeah, I think it's such a funny fucking show. And if anyone's bored, just watch the Golden Girls. It's not really a woman show. It's foul. Oh my god, they're they're. Uh, I never got any of the jokes. Oh yeah, exactly. But now that I'm older, I do like. I just it's so funny. It's all they do is make fun of each other for being whores. And it's just so amazing. I love the show. So if you if you never sat down and actually watched Golden Girls, just do it. It is so fucking funny. They're even like making fun of themselves. I feel because they're four older women, and it takes place in Florida. Yeah, of course <laughs> it does. Yeah, and it's just like you know there was no school shootings. Uh, it was a better time. <laughs> All actually, right, let's see here. I think I wanted to mention something. I think I had something. There was something about Florida in the news again. And I wanted to, I think, talk about it. But I can't remember if it was. I No, I never mind. I thought there was. Never mind. I'm stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I thought there was something I wanted to talk about Florida again. But, yeah, and it was a school shooting. So <laughs> what were you looking up? I'm trying to find out their, their ages at the time. I know that. I know for a fact Estelle Getty is younger was younger than B. Arthur. Yeah. But I don't know if she was the youngest. Uh I think she was one of the funniest. Um and like the one girl, that girl on the left there next to Betty White, they always make fun of her for being a whore. Yeah. You know, they they were actually supposed to play each other's roles. And then they tried oh, really? they tried a table read where they swapped and uh, everybody loved the other way around. Yeah, because I, I really can't picture Betty White being like a whorish girl. Like she, she's more she of a, is in real life. Yeah, but she's more of like an innocent like person. Remember, like ditzy, you know, oblivious to a lot of things. Yeah, but I mean, she's she's she was kind of she got around. Yeah. Oh, I bet. Betty, Betty White. If you ever seen older pictures of her when she was younger, she was uh, a little good looking. <laughs> Betty White was sort of fine when she was younger, um, but I don't really know what she did when she was younger. 
Uh, well, she she was an actress for a long time. She did a lot of stuff. Yeah, and I just I don't know. I just remember her mostly for the um, Golden Girls and everything like that. But yeah, it's some we'll have to check out because, like I said, don't quote me on it. But I think she was the actual youngest out of all of them. But I'm not sure. And she was like one of my favorite. Her and B. Arthur, I think, were really good. And and it's funny too. Yeah, because, she was in Mod too. B. Arthur was. Uh, um, me and Jay watch a lot of uh, Teen Titans Go. Uh, there was an episode where um, Cyborg stole Green Lantern's ring and he summoned the Golden Girls. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they fight a bunch of robots and shit like that. It was fucking hilarious. I think there's like two episodes where he summons the Golden Girls. And I just thought that was funny that, you know, that's on a kid's show and they're just like, you know, whatever. Tuffy and Mama Bear, I want to invite you to my 32nd birthday party bonfire drinking. <laughs> yeah, that would be a long trip for them, I think. Um,. Yeah, so it appears Rue McClanahan, who's the one who played uh, uh, Blanche, she's the youngest. Betty, Betty's the second youngest, and then it's Estelle Getty, and then B. Arthur's the oldest, oh, which man. is hilarious. Ah, uh, Sophia, no, uh, you uh, did you miss something? No, we're just talking about the Golden Girls. Being from Russia, I don't know if uh, you've ever heard of them, but it's a show that uh, about sure four four older people in uh, Florida. <laughs> They're hilarious. Yeah, they are. Um. Shit might be on Netflix. I don't know. Uh, that reminds Probably me. Probably on YouTube. Like how you were saying about uh, Mia Kunz, if she was Russian or not. Yeah, she actually speaks really good Russian still. I and thought she was Ukrainian. Oh, uh, whatever. It's the same over there. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. <laughs> they all look alike. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's actually really hot, too, when she speaks. <laughs> it's like, oh, I don't know what the fuck she's saying, but uh, I want to put it in her vagine. <laughs> what is your favorite movie? Uh, mine is Evil Dead 2. Uh, I don't know. Couldn't tell you. I have so many. I'd say either Braveheart or Gettysburg. I don't know yet. The movie about a <laughs> Braveheart. The movie about a bridge that has no bridge <laughs> in it. Such a great movie, dude. I love it though. I love it. I love it when they kill his fucking wife and he's just walking in there and he just like has nothing to lose. He takes those deer antlers and just shoves it in the guy's neck. <laughs> I love that movie. Braveheart. Oh, so good. See, Sophia says no. We are different. <laughs> Ukrainians are different than Russians. I don't know. Jackass. Yeah, you Russians are in a hurry. That's the only difference. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I guess the only uh, difference between Ukraine and Russia is is in Russia, that's where Stalin killed all of his own people. Yeah, see? <laughs> she, she goes, it's like I can say you all look Amish. Uh, uh, you should see our friend Brooks. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Jay does because he has uh, a beard, but uh, I don't have I, You know what? I'm facial hair. I don't know that I'm going to keep the chin puff, but I'm definitely keeping off the mustache for a while. I had enough mustache. What? I'm tired of, like, every time like I take a drink or something, that shit goes in my fucking coffee. Nah, I kiss weird. my wife, and she's like, ah, it's like fucking taking a toothbrush and shoving it up your face. That reminds me, though. Did you see Jim Beans making their own coffee now? Of course they or are. Or not Jim Bean, not Jack Daniels. Well, whatever. It's, <laughs> That's so it's for alcoholics who have to get up in the morning. <laughs> no, there's no alcohol in it. I guess they're just making their own coffee now. Okay. I don't know. It's weird. Uh, they roast shit, I guess. Uh, Tuffy says Wolfenstein 1 and 2. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Uh, Casey, you look like a prepubescent Amish boy. You have sex with this Amish boy, so you're a dirty cunt. <laughs> <laughs> well, on that note, I think it's time for us to get going. Yeah, it is. Uh, thanks, everyone, for coming in. Uh, Mama Bear, it's funny that you came in this week. We were just talking about you last week, how we haven't seen you in a while, so thanks for coming back in. Um so, uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks, everyone, for coming in. Uh, Jay has to go home and beat Amanda. Um, beat Amanda? <laughs> I would never. <laughs> she um, would kick my ass. I got to go and get more coal to fill my coal stove, so hopefully at least CO and I die in my sleep. <laughs> I just want to die. Let me die. <laughs> you sound like one of those edgy 12-year-olds on meme pages. Oh, I probably do. But uh, like we said, uh, thanks, everyone, for watching us and everything like that. Uh, we'll see you next week. Have a good one. This has been the Openly Hostile Opinions Podcast. <laughs> we are available on YouTube, Google Play, iTunes, and your favorite podcast app. Be sure to like, subscribe, rate, and comment. If you want to help make all this possible, become a patron at patreon.com slash openly hostile opinions. Good morning! Morning! Good morning! Oh, and in 
case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Ha, ha, ha.